I went down the AI rabbit hole. And before I even get to the chat GPT thing, I saw something, and this goes in line with the Ed Sheeran bit, was that music, like, I don't know if you even know this, but like, you can take a person's face, like a celebrity, and have an AI version of them say something that they never said, and it looks like a straight, legit video. Oh, wow. So what you can also do is just take their voice. And so somebody took like a Drake song, like, no, it, they took Drake's voice. Yeah. Created their own song, their own beat and, and everything. Drake, and had um, used Drake's voice. Drake sing their song. Interesting thing, though, people like reacted to it and it was better than what like Drake would have done. And so what begs the question is when you do that, and we know this, when you do a reaction on YouTube, there's an algorithm that hears something and says it's copywritten. The music industry doesn't currently copyright a voice. They so they have they copyright an identity. They own, they own the material. They right. own the so if Drake writes the singer something or the band or the yeah yeah. And this isn't just Drake. People have taken um, like Liam Gallagher's voice and did an Oasis type song, right. but it's not written by Oasis. So all of this like Ed Sheeran stuff in theory in like a year's time could be all for naught because there's no way to like who gets the artist. Who gets the actual creativity? Is it, is it me who stole Drake's voice, but I wrote a good song and I just used Drake's voice to put out a product? Do I own it or does Drake own it because it's his voice? Uh, I don't even want to like, that's just a whole world. I don't even want to get into. Well, that's what that, but that's something that we're going to see more and more. I hope not. That I hope up. there's something that squashes that because that's awful. That that whole AI creating, you know, you write a song and then you just hit a button or two and then Drake sings your song or Dave Matthews sings your song or Billy Joel. That's stupid. Yeah, but you could also argue that if is it this what makes the song good? Is it just the person's voice or is it the words? Is it the music, the beat that it's you put? It's a combination of both. So what I'm saying is if you do two of the like three. Like Bob Dylan. I mean, I mean, he had excellent lyrics, like but if people you, didn't like his voice. If you don't have a good singing voice. And you go, I wrote a killer song. I can just use John Lennon's voice no. and put it in there. No, you have to fight and see if someone will sing your song for you and give you credit like Elton, like Toppin did with Elton John. You can't ruin the sanctity of music that's been around for years. You can't <laughs> ruin the That's what I'm going for, you folks. Rad scene has been. You can't ruin the authors that have written. David Baldacci, who's one of the best authors on the planet, and then you basically say, hey, write another David Baldacci book, and he's not writing it. No, 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 no. I don't even want to think about that world. That world would suck. Well, we're in it. So we're getting closer and closer to it. And Well, hopefully someone, hopefully the government, if they can do anything right, stops it. It's, 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 I, think it's, I think it's here to stay, sir. Um, but you can't do it. I mean, if you want to shake down anybody, shake down the people that do that. That would be awesome. There are full on AI like metal bands and stuff that I'm telling you that people who are in the industry, somebody goes, oh, here, listen to this band, new band. And they're like, oh, my God, this is fantastic. Later on, realize it's a computer doing AI. So stupid. So I hope it I hope it stops. And it, I really do. Hope it gets crashed in the, the ground. So I do think cases like Ed Sheeran and stuff, I do think that's going to add an extra layer that you might, know what happens. That might squash you, a lot of that. Who do you sue? The people that uh, created the Git boat or whatever it's called? I think, the, I think the music industry, this is in just how like Napster came in and re, reinvented the whole music industry. This is that we're, we're hitting that wave again where the music industry has to go, what do we do? Same with, same with stop it. That's what you do. You stop it from happening. But look at, look at even movies like Carrie Fisher's dead, but they can recreate princess Leia. No, so, you stop it. You don't allow Carrie Fisher to be in a movie, but what if, okay. Let, I mean, let's hope it never like the last movie. And then she was filming some of it and you're going to, do a scene or two, fine, but not a whole movie. Let's hope this never happens. But if Stallone don't say it, if Stallone don't dies, say it. no, I don't want to see another movie with him. 
Really? No, I don't. Oh, I would watch AI Stallone all day. No, I would not. I would not. And I would hate you for watching it. I would watch it in front of you, sir. No, you would not. I would leave, I'd go, leave hey, whatever establishment we were at. They, they unearthed this new Stallone movie. It came from the vault, no, sir. No, stupid. It's so gar. I mean, it's, so, I can't believe people are that shallow and weak that they have to watch and or listen to AI created stuff. Anybody like that should honestly I, I, go find a hole in a cave and go there forever. You suck. <laughs> okay. Speaking of, so I went to, so I decided, cause I've never used chat GPT. I've never used oh, AI Jesus. anything. So I decided to go to chat GPT for the first time and see how intuitive it is. Cause, right. cause I wanted it. Cause I've got a son who can technically use it for schoolwork. He shouldn't be using it for schoolwork, but can, I was curious at this stage in the game, how intuitive it is versus what it could be. And what I found in my opinion, it's more along the lines of like an Alexa at this point, it's not as intuitive as I'd like it to be or thought it would be. Why do you want it to be more intuitive? I want it. Well, you know, why me, do you want AI I, to, you know, I love the future. You know, I love okay, that, the in that future. We don't exist. What are, where do, what do we do? We're still we, us. They're not killing us. It's uh, not terminated. Okay. The show is not global. The show is not even national. We, we, I mean, our jobs would be disintegrated into the ground and we wouldn't exist and we couldn't afford our homes or do anything. What would you want AI to take over the world for? It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> no, I'm just you want to you want to lose your job and not have anything and not have any income? Well, just no. To see AI work? No, no, I'm not. No, I don't want that to happen. But that's something that should be a conversation. That's what I'm saying. Is, uh, we're having a conversation. I know. You're wrong. That wanting AI, it's anybody who wants AI and Terminator Two to happen to us. Good luck. Yeah, dude. We're we're the like. And what I'm saying is we're going to need John Connor to stop it. That's all. Yeah. And th there are people at the forefront of saying, Hey, let's, let's slow this down. Then there's people going, Hey, let's speed this up. So that's why we're having the conversation. So anyway, I went to chat GPT just to see, I asked it some questions just to see how it responded. So here, I, so the first thing I said was write a joke about the Subfax podcasts. Cause I wanted to see if we showed up in the wor world of AI. Right. First joke. It said, why did the Subfax podcast cross the road to get to the lesser known side? And I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> Chat GP is coming for A right? little bit oh of a dig, a little God. bit of a dig. So then it said, why did the Subfax podcast get a job? It said at the sandwich shop, but in theory it should have just been like pizza shop or something. Right. But the answer was because it's, it's great at delivering subpar content. So I was like, way to go. Wow. So then I said, so then I was like, okay, well, let me get off of our jokes. And I said, write a joke about Mooney's mom. You know, it could have been my mom, but anyway, your mom just came to mind. So um, <laughs> I said, write a joke about Mooney's mom. This is where it got interesting. It says, I apologize, but as an AI language model, I cannot provide jokes or comments that may be considered offensive or disrespectful awesome. towards any individual or group of people. Awesome. My purpose is to provide helpful and informative responses while upholding ethical standards and respecting awesome. the dignity and privacy of all individuals. Awesome. If you have any other requests or questions, I'd be happy to assist you. So it won't do something awesome. that they find offensive. So then I said, write a joke about the New York Jets. It seemed to be the focal point of your. Well, when you're not here, I, I miss your you, sir. Searches. I miss you. <laughs> and so it said, Why did the New York Jets fan refuse to watch the game on TV? Because they heard the reception was terrible. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and so you smiled. Oh, my God. So anyway, <laughs> it's funny. It won't tell a joke but about it, your mom, but it'll tell a joke about the Jets. Well, because uh -huh. it, but it's not being degrading. Why did the New York Jets fan bring a ladder to the game? Why? To see their team climb out of the bottom of the standings. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, I did one about the Philadelphia Flyers, too. Just throw it, make it even. Why did the Philadelphia Flyers bring a broom to the game? So they could get swept. To or, sweep so they... the ice after the team scores. Oh. Yeah. 
So then I asked. I, I hope we we're, are we almost done. We're with almost this? we're almost done. But this I asked. Is awful. This is probably the worst segment we've ever. I had. asked for it to write me some pickup lines. You know how you love some pickup lines. I do, but I know better pickup lines than these people. It's the excuse me. Do you have a map? Because I'm getting lost in your eyes. Oh my god. Or do you believe in love at first sight? Or do I need to walk by again? Oh my god. What's funny is it put a little. After each one, it said, this pickup line is a playful way to approach someone you find attractive and start a conversation with them. Remember to be re- respectful and read their body language oh to make God. sure they're comfortable with the interaction and good luck. So it, Those it, are bad. Those are terrible. It's, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's more like a You just got to go up and say, how much does a polar bear weigh? How much? Enough to break the ice. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so, so... La- I asked it a couple more things, but I'll cut to the last thing. I said, what is the best pizza topping? Oh, nice. What did it say? Pizza is a very subjective oh, food. Jesus! And, every- and everyone has their own preferences when it comes to oh, toppings. God, that God. being said, there is no definitive best pizza topping, as it ultimately comes down to personal taste. Some people enjoy classic toppings such as pepper. Pepperoni, sausage, or mushrooms, and others prefer the more unconventional toppings like pineapple, barbecue chicken, or even macaroni and cheese. The beauty of pizza is that you can customize it to your liking and experiment with different combinations to find your favorite. So go ahead and have fun trying out different toppings until you find the perfect pizza for you. Okay, producer Brian, did you approve this content? (laughs) Sure, I mean... Wow. It's fascinating. No! It's not fascinating. AI is actually a I, big topic, believe it or I, not. I, I know it is, and it disgusts me. And I lost five minutes of my life with this question. The and... future is here, sir. The future is here. <sighs> Be prepared. Okay. <laughs> um, I will stop with the AI. I just, folks, if you're listening, I think it's a fascinating discussion people should be having because it is going to make a major impact into our just, world. Just make sure I'm not part of that discussion. Rab C. Nesbitt has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please.